A ball is attached to the end of a string. It is swung in a vertical circle of radius 10 meters. What is the minimum velocity that the ball must have to make it around the circle? So the first thing we're going to do is show the circular path that our object is following. So here it is shown by this dashed circular path. Here is the center of our circle. We have attached our object to a rope here. Let's say we attach a green ball to the end of our string and we're spinning it around the circle. Now the key instant we want to know about is the minimum velocity we need to make in order to follow the circular path. So the unique place where, this, where we can determine the minimum velocity we need is when our object gets to its highest point. At this point, we want to be the minimum velocity possible. So if our velocity was any greater, we would have tension in the string, and if it was any less, we wouldn't have enough velocity in order to maintain our circular motion, and our object would wind up falling down. It wouldn't continue in the circular path. So with that being said, we know that the tension in our string has to be equal to zero newton. So there's no force in the string. Other than that, we still have the normal forces. So we still have mg directed downward, and we still have our acceleration directed toward the center of the circle. So if we apply Newton's second law, we have the net force is equal to ma centripetal. So the sum of our forces would be the force to the tension plus mg is equal to ma centripetal. This is if we consider down to be the positive direction. So with that being said, we've already established that the tension in our string has to be equal to zero. So we can ignore that. This then leaves us with mg is equal to ma centripetal. Now we can divide both sides by m, canceling out the mass in each side, leaving us with g is equal to the centripetal acceleration. But we remember that the centripetal acceleration is also given by the equation v squared over r. Now we want to solve for v in this case. So if we multiply both sides by r, this would leave us with v squared is equal to g times r. But we only want v, so we're going to take the square root of both sides. This then gives us that the velocity is equal to the square root of g times r. If we now plug in our given values, so the acceleration of gravity is 9.8 and the radius of our path is 10 meters. We then calculate out what our velocity would be. We would find that it would be 9.9 .9 meters per second. This corresponds to an answer choice of B, 9.9 .9 meters per second.